of Fish Flagstaff on uh, Drawing Under the Influence. It's the show where we drink, we draw, we have some laughs, and then everybody goes home with a kidney disorder. Anyway, uh, this is... Um, uh, d no, uh, we're not finished yet. <laughs> we're not finished yet! We're not finished yet! Oh, um, because we record these uh, all in one go in the live stream chat, we can get confused about when when the show actually ends. It's not over just yet, people in the live stream. Get back in the seats. Get back in those seats. In response to Malt, keep beautiful weeks. <laughs> right. Oh, come on. What's going on here? That's not what happened. Hang on. Stop playing around with me. Suddenly the distortion is in Skype picking and you sound like you're doing auto tuning. I always sound like I'm doing auto tune. So, suddenly you're Kanye West? Yes. once again listening to the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra playing various popular tunes in a more orchestral way <laughs> for anybody who's considering doing their own version of my show um, I would suggest not doing it mainly because you know liver, kidney problems. Um, I don't actually drink as much as uh, people presume I do, and uh, I know when to say stop. Usually it's about five minutes after I've had the wrong amount of alcohol, but you know, I know when to do that. Mm. Uh, being fairly quiet over there for once, would I? I was just looking stuff up online and working about what to talk about. Oh, that's a, that's a relief. I thought the universe was uh, destroyed or something, because it's just not the same without Scotty saying something to me and telling me things that I didn't know before. Like, um... Well, you probably knew the just depending. Yeah. At least before the stomach pump. Yes. I've heard good things about this stomach pump. But that might have been somebody lying to me. Part of course, actually. Do you rest here with me? I am what I am, I do what I want, and why do I know the lyrics? I shouldn't know them, this song is boring. Yeah, it's totally believable that you don't have any knowledge of that song. Yes, I think they're, I think they're convinced. I think everybody will believe me when I say I don't know what this song is. I am holding that pen real good way. Mm. Uh. <laughs> but on the side, I have to love every time the discussion comes up from NASA about them getting more budget funding and the response from 
okay, I'm going to admit, it's basically the Republicans in this issue anyway. Because yeah. it's always the Republicans who want two things. They want America to be proactive and taking a league and bang, 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 all that type of fun stuff. At the same time, they want to be cutting the budget because big government's bad. So why is this in the news at the moment? Because of the fact that the Republicans want to cut the funding, well, basically when... The truth is be... that America is building its new plan for the replacement project that it's going to be getting people up into space again, basically because they don't have the space shuttle. And of the... course, irony of ironies, the song that starts playing is Let, Let Him Be. <laughs> oh, there you go. Let Him Be. <laughs> anyway, so the project was meant to have people in using this spacecraft. It was the old Orion one, which was what was being used to get people to the moon under Bush's plan, which was cancelled under Obama because it was sort of bad. Now, people are a bit pissed, pissy about the fact that Obama's project was cancelling the project that uh, Bush had. But the difference is, is that Obama's one, when he came in, actually had more set agendas for, for it, as opposed to what Bush had, which Bush was just Go to the moon, then go to Mars. And we get to the moon by this stage. And what is, how do we get to the moon? Uh, I don't know, we just get there. Which is why Obama's plan is go to the moon, do this step, and then build the colony there, and then make a step towards making an asteroid landing in a new Earth object. And then Mars. Maybe it was that to prove that it's entirely feasible to have someone go to the deep space objects and actually survive a journey which is going to take multiple months. Yes. Also, it's kind of more extreme to make a landing on a, an asteroid. The other reason why they're sort of trying to test to see if it works, asteroid mining. Yeah. Can I recoup some losses from uh, from having to do stuff and things. Well, me and I'm grammar is. good at the moment. Not drunk enough that yet. <laughs> well, it's kind of more of a case to uh, the idea that space mining can take place, so you can be getting the resources to up there. Shit! Shit! Not over. I spilled my beer. You were not a true alcoholic. I spilled my beer on the floor. No, a true alcoholic would never have spilled their beer. Hang on. There we go. Now that's actually supposed to be an actual true alcoholic. It's okay. I recovered enough of it that I can still... No, he's not building cocaine, he's sucking up the beer. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go. <laughs> the response from the screen, um, the chat was, Oh god, I hope the, uh, the webcam wasn't uh, recording that. Um, was. No, it's not. Maybe it was, <laughs> Maybe it was still anyway. That's the local CIA agent, or oh, my 5 or AVO agent. Oh all god, Russian that drunk art guy has just been... <laughs> all your Nigerian prince. Seriously, who doesn't get involved with the game of doing all that data? <laughs> I wonder if there's a law, an internet law that basically dictates that for when you're a sex boss, the more kids that are sort of getting involved with trying to gather as much data, the more space in that then needs to be dedicated to them. The kind of reason why I'm sort of wondering if it's on that one is, I wonder at what stage it goes so far that it has to be the entire Earth is dedicated to being a storage server that's restoring the re recordings of one person's webcam. 
because every all those organisations which are basically needing to dedicate service space to record the fact that they're all recording it. Like all those spy agencies and botnets and all those type of things. <laughs> yeah, if, if any um, like agents are watching my webcam, the the, the whole uh, naked art thing is just a, like a personal choice. You, you you don't really need to watch it. No, they're probably seen worse. <laughs> they're just waiting for you to say the key words of jihad. Don't and... say anything like that, Squatto. It's going to pop up in my thing now. They're going to keep watching me. Terrorism, nuclear bomb. Thanks, Danny. Squatto. Thanks. Hey, I'm just expanding my um, AVA file that way. Well, what's the time on this episode, please? Um, technically about 12, 13 minutes or something like that. We got a general and generally vague and correct. But uh, the reason why I'm going to judge you not about that is because of the simple fact that um, how much uh, well, I said the CIA file because of the fact that, truth be told, You're five are all flying on each other side. You're flying can... without wings. Mm. Right. The reason I'm talking about is that Five Eyes Nation, if you don't know who Five Eyes are, Australia, America, Britain, Canada, New Zealand. Basically, it's strong countries, the ones that all sort of share their sort of flying stuff. Anyway, Five Eyes are all have this little cut deal where they spy on each other's nations so that the spy agencies can actually share that spy stuff between themselves because Technically speaking, they've got limits. So in the case of uh, Australia, they can only hold metadata information for two years. Whilst the Americans actually have scattered that themselves, they can hold that indefinitely. Or the Australians actually gathered that and shared it accidentally, deliberately, or whatever with the US, yeah. the US can hold that for indefinitely. Because that's how it works. Ooh, that's going to taste nice. Someone's having some sake. Ooh, nice. nice. Send us some via email. Drawing under the influence at, your, uh, at, g at gmail.com. I forgot what our email address was for a second there. <laughs> it was not like you've just written it on something just in front of your face. No, it's not like I've stared at it for like hours and hours and an end as I do everything on my computer. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I keep picking up the wrong bottle. Ah. Uh, uh, So yeah, I'm adding a few um, few characters who might not have gotten the uh, my full attention in the past little while into this. See how they sign for you. Didn't we listen to this one already? I have no idea. Probably. Let's move on. Imagine yeah. it's the next one we've listened to that. Anyway, the reason I'm sort of saying that the NASA point is they're going back to the US government because the plan is that the US new launcher is meant to be flying by 2017. Yeah, we've listened to this one as well. So about 10 years time. The problem is, is that due to budget cutbacks, the project currently should 
Jesus is dying in 2020, so five years time. Excuse me for a second, we need to switch CDs. Oh, there we go. Indeed, indeed. How much longer do we have on this particular episode, dear sir? Um, 13 odd minutes, I mean, I don't know. Oh no, Tip. seven minutes. Hang on. There's an easy way to check. Um, how many episodes have we done? This would be the third. Ah, uh, awesome. But a little, 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 Orchestral rock music. This is cool. Okay. Uh, sorry, what, what were we doing? I, I can't remember now. You're doing art. I'm doing art. Wait, I can't be doing art. I'd need to be an artist to do art. He's going to Don't let me get the. Don't let me get the wig out. So, joining us in this little epic image here, we have uh, Doc, who is, uh, technically his full name is Lord Doc Killerfish, but he's gone by uh, Doc, Dr. David Mordefish now, so uh, that's one of my characters. And over here we have Squatter, who um, well Squatter. How how do you pronounce that anyway? Squatter. I end up just bothering calling it Squatter. Get the fuck out. The one that gets not basically is what he is. Yes, there's a drug about the one that knows. She is the one that's bad. That's bad, bad. I am the one that stabs. That does not look good. What I was saying with that one, um, the NASA story, basically they've been pushing the US Congress to get allow the funding to be, uh, to be released to them because they've had an earmark in their budget for a few years, but the budget has been cut back and of course it is impacting how long it's going to take. At the same time, the government is basically saying, you should get this done right away. You should be doing this on a cheaper budget and get it on time. Their response is, no! The response back from the government response back from NASA is No! Gonna run to you. I'm gonna yeah. run from you. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, My singing has once again disrupted the whole conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's where they chat the they're going on to have fun of explaining to them these people off this, how this and uh, these political guys saying, oh, this so I think that you'd be able to uh, make it go on the same time. We currently have this working spacecraft that's going to a multiple reason of vehicles, but it's safe to get your people up and back to uh, from the 
on Instagram multiple times on time on budget and working as if we're on set. So they're basically laughing and telling them how stupid they are for trying to have that idea, which is in turn angering this, uh, the Congress people because of the fact that people who think they're smart who talk funny are making fun of them. Which they should be, because these people are idiots. Basically, they're all Tea Party idiots. Right, I'm going to say that was it. That was a good comment, well made, and this is probably going to be under slightly, but we're going to call it there for this particular episode. Um, I'm probably under by about four or five minutes, knowing me. Who knows? Who cares? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, people in the stream, keep with us. We will still be here. Um, YouTube viewers, we will see you next episode.